One of the two men charged with assaulting U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick pled guilty in federal court. You might remember Sicknick died because of two strokes following the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Our chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is here with me now. And Flack, you know the charges the DOJ agreed to in this plea agreement may come as a surprise to some people, right? All right, uh, one second. Flat, turn your mic on for us real quick. It's live TV. It's all good. Is that better now? Is that good? Can you hear me now? There we go. All right, you good? good? What I was saying is that George Tanios of West Virginia pled guilty to two misdemeanor counts, with the government dropping the much more serious felony charges against him. Why? Well, it's in return for his cooperation in the case against his co-defendant, Julian Cater. Doing an excellent job. Wednesday, Morgantown, West Virginia sandwich shop owner George Tanios pled guilty to entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds and disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted building or grounds. Both are misdemeanors, which could carry no jail time. Tanios was arrested last March, along with his former friend and co-defendant Julian Cater of New Jersey. Both men were originally indicted on numerous charges, including assaulting a federal officer with a dangerous weapon and obstruction of an official proceeding, which both carry a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison. The pair are accused of conspiring to purchase and bring pepper spray and bear mace to the Capitol on January 6th, but prosecutors say video from the insurrection shows it was Cater who pulled the pepper spray out of Tanios' backpack and used it to assault three officers, including U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Sicknick collapsed hours later and died the next day, although the medical examiner later ruled the pepper spray did not cause Sicknick's death. Both men were originally held at the D.C. jail without bond, but Tanios was granted pretrial release in August 2021 since Cater was the only one accused of actually pepper spraying police. Wednesday's plea sets George Tanios up as a star witness against Julian Cater during his upcoming trial, with the pressure mounting on Cater to accept a plea agreement as well, knowing the Department of Justice now has a key witness against him in its back pocket. This afternoon, the DOJ told Cater he will need to plead guilty to two felony counts of assault on a federal law enforcement officer as part of any deal to avoid going to trial. Those charges and that guilty plea would likely carry a prison term of six to eight years in prison, the longest sentence for any capital riot defendant so far. So right, clearly investigators and prosecutors still at work here. All right, Flack, thank you. A new survey shows 79 percent of Americans believe former President Trump acted unethically after the 2020 elections. The poll was conducted by a marketing research firm, SSRS. It also found 69 percent of Americans consider the January 6th attack at the U.S. Capitol a crisis or major problem for American democracy.